Okay, so no evidence for instant fossilization. That was crazy when we learned about that. I remember we were in a Discord chat and Nathan was there and we we're like trying to figure out how any of that could happen. We we're like, instant petrification? What is this? And this hmm. is probably like 2019, maybe just learning that that is a scientific term that explains a lot of stuff, but they just don't ever teach you about it. So it is accepted and it's in mainstream science, instant petrification, but they're not saying that it happens often or I, I don't know. Because that's definitely yeah, that, yeah. Mike, what do you think happened that like um, caused the petrification? Do you have theories on that? Yeah, I, I, well, it was interesting because Brit Brittany um, was in a live stream with with um, Nathan and Andreas. This is years ago, and um, you guys were talking about volcanoes. And um, because basically, initially, like the, the thing is, you know, chat. What, what was that called? AI GPD, GPT. whatever it is. Um, GPT. Uh, you know, it was basically giving the paramineralization explanation, which is the mainstream. You know, explanation for for petrification, um, but just saying that it could happen more quickly, and that's kind of basically mud fossil theory. That's like Roger Spur, you know, and and um, also uh, Alan from um, Mud Flood was Armageddon. You know, they're they're talking about this this idea that things are getting encased in mud, and then there's a exchange of of the gases and the fluids that are in the tissues with the minerals that are outside of the, the tissues. So so basically, that's working its way in, and that's how soft tissue can petrify in a much quicker period of time. And so that was initially my thought with what I was finding. But then I'm like, this doesn't make any sense, because if that's the case, I should be finding the hearts with parts of the body, you know, different body parts, that kind of thing. Um, and so I started to, to, to ponder it because I was finding the stones in such large quantities. And, and this pattern was so repetitious. And, and so I realized that the only way that that could be is if the body is being destroyed and somehow the organs are petrifying. So. Um, I was already toying with what I was calling boiled egg theory, which is the idea that the chest and the abdominal cavities where the organs are, each individual organ is contained in a, in a fascial sac. And, mm -hmm. and the, the sac that surrounds the heart is the thickest of those fascia sacs. So fascia is the white, you know, the gristle on the meat, right? If you, if you look at, at, at a muscle, for example, it's surrounded in fascia. But if you do a cross section of the muscle, you're going to have all of these different layers of fascia as it goes into smaller and smaller. So fascia is in every single tissue of the body inside outside and all throughout and it goes from our head to our toe and and it's it's everywhere so the fascia is surrounding the the heart and it's the thickest fascia of the body so i was thinking that wow that's kind of like an eggshell and what if maybe the 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 chest and abdominal cavities which are fluid right and the organs are anchored into the body and are floating in that fluid what if that's kind of functioning like a pressure cooker and that and the organ is 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 hardening as it's cooking like a hard boiled egg because you break an egg open when it's raw and it's fluid you put it in boiling water for eight minutes and it's a hard boiled egg well you know that that was like that was the, the theory i was toying with and then you guys in that video started talking about pyroclastic flows and you know that that the ejections from these volcanoes can can be they can move at the speed of sound they can be so powerful and the heat can be as as, as it's been registered as high as 1500 degrees celsius so that's a lot of heat and a lot of speed and, and wind. And if you've ever been in a sauna and blown on your arm, you can practically burn yourself with your own breath because of the, you know, the, for some, I don't know how it works, but the, you know, the flow of the air is actually increasing the heat. So if you've got 1500 degrees Celsius and air movement, there's your destruction of the outer portion of the body, right? And so that was my theory is that as the body is being destroyed from the outside, the organs are in their own protective sacs. They're floating in water. That water is going to heat and boil, but it's also going to be pressurized because it's an enclosure, right? And then you have the pleura, which surrounds all of the organs. And the pleura is this thick, fatty sac. So that's like, it's like a, it's like an encasement within a bigger encasement. So as the outer portions of the body are being destroyed, I believe the organs are being hardened at least to the point where they're preserved. And then maybe paramineralization finishes off the process. And that would explain why I'm finding them everything from bone white all the way to blood red. It's this, you know, yeah, all, the, might, all and even yeah. they're even in black. So I think that might have to do with with uh, you know blue blooded creatures. You know, like like reptiles have a different color blood than we do, right? So um, the uh, the iron uh, that's a whole other thing. Pull up a uh, uh, and that's just hearts, Mike. Oh. He was talking about like brain, um, liver, kidney. You're not going to go into this whole parable, whatever. But yeah. there's I've different... stuck with the hearts because if I show a kidney, like a you know a kidney shaped stone, and I say this is this was once a kidney, you know. Okay, nutcase, you know. You're, you're, but you're finding that you know, it makes yeah, sense no, that I, I other, other, video, other organs. I made exist. a little video, and in fact, on the on the um, on the the thumbnail of the video, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like I don't know five or six videos ago on my channel, um, and it's what are the you know what about the other organs.